Let's go. Hello, welcome to Hammer and Togs. My name is Wayne Perry. And my name is Aidy. And this week I'm going to be looking at the DeWalt Prentice boot and the Dickies Pro Trouser. And I'll be showcasing the Disc Orbital Sander from the Fell Evo 150 and the Crosscutter KSS 40. And we've been lucky enough to go behind the scenes to the product development team at Dickies headquarters. And stay tuned so you can win some of our amazing Dickies products in our competition at the end of the show. So this week I'm going to be talking to you about the DeWalt Apprentice boot and this is one of their best selling boots, it's been around for years and it's still fantastic. Go on then, tell me about it. Well this boot has got a low profile rubber sole unit on there, um, it's extremely flexible, it looks fantastic, it's got this uh, rear kick guard on there, it's got a, an aero liner which is like a, a breathable liner in there, good padded tongue, nice padding around there, really really comfortable. So what kind of person would be um, buying this boot? Somebody that's going to be on their knees a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay, someone that's um, like on the go. So uh, it's a flexible boot because you don't have this midsole unit in there. So somebody that's running up and downstairs, crawling in loft spaces, maybe someone like an electrician, someone like that. Okay, so is, is it suitable for a gardener? I probably wouldn't recommend it for a gardener, although we do get people that do um, use boots like this, but only because it doesn't really have that midsole unit there. So if you're digging all day, you're probably going to break the sole unit up. Okay, uh, give me top five things. Ooh, top five things. Okay, one, it's got to be the flexibility of this mm. boot. You've got protection there if you know if you bang your heel. It's really well padded. You've got this breathable moisture wicking liner inside, mm -hmm. so you're not going to get wet socks. And finally, it looks fantastic. You can wear it down the pub after work. Boom. I'm showcasing the Maffel Evo 150 Orbital Sander. Mm, good name. Good name, my daughter's name. Love this one. Um, what's great about Maffel is when they introduce something to market, they always want to make sure it's got something that no one else has got. Okay. Uh, or it's one of the best in features. So yep. for this, the main thing about this is it's got minimal vibration. When I spoke to the guys at Maffel, they came around and showed me and put a glass of water on the top of it, on, the, on one of the flatbed ones, and, and there was minimal vibration in the water. That's crazy, because normally these things are like jumping around like Absolutely, that. and yeah. you know, if you don't use them that often, you don't really care. But if mm. your job involves sanding every day, you don't want white finger. Do you no. I mean, you, literally to the yeah. point that you won't be able to pick up your pint at the end of the day. It's not so good. a normal sand, does that mean it spins? It oscillates, it kind of, it doesn't go all okay. the way around, it kind of, it does that with it. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like, you're not like an angle grind, it doesn't go no. all the way around. So key features of this one, um, it's it's got a pole grip and it's got a second hand grip there so you can do it as two grips yeah. this can remove if you don't want it right, just okay. take that off it's got a kick guard here a protective guard which moves round mm -hmm. and what that does as you're sanding you tend to push into things and you end up damaging that front edge and your sanding always wears out okay. um, so this moves around and it protects that and that can come off as well yep. um, <laughs> it's got these sand pads um, abronets um, and they're full of perforations loads of little holes Oh yeah. Okay. So the idea is the dust goes through it's that through. through the system. Yeah. It's, it's got this um, protective layer as well. Okay. You have to put that on first before you put the sanding sheet on. So twenty percent more um, dust extraction goes through this and out, and also it sucks in from the side. So any work that you're working so it's on, lifting into it, lifting yeah. it all in. Yeah. And if you get rid of all the rubbish and all the crap, it means it sands better. So you yeah. get twenty percent better performance. Nice. Um, and obviously, then you've got collects in uh, here, or you've got um, a dust extractor. Mm, cool. So what's the top? Five key features for this product. Top five, I would say definitely the anti-vibration. Yeah, that's great. No vibration. Yeah. You've got this kick guard. You've got the Abronet system, which yeah. works brilliantly, and the dust extraction everywhere. I think I've given you five. Mm, that's good. Hi, Lauren. What do you do at Dickies? I'm the head of workwear for Dickies Europe. Oh, that sounds exciting. Yeah, that's it good, is yeah. exciting, yeah. yes. And so what do you do um, day to day as part of your job? So my role um, includes looking after the design, development, sourcing, stock planning, and for everything within the Dickies catalogue in Europe. So how often do you develop a new product? So our development calendar is, is set over the year, okay. um, but we're not really confined to that. So um, it really depends on the market needs and also mm. um, the seasonality of the product. So we may introduce shorts in February and then new jackets in August, depending on the season. Um, certification also has a big impact right. on when we can launch. So whilst our meetings are based on a yearly calendar, when yeah. we drop the products in really does depend. We do have our own laboratory um, for which we test all of our fabrications, our trims, 
um, and everything we possibly can on a mm. product before we launch. And do you like have um, people that wear these products as well? So you did like testers and that? Yeah, we have really um, <coughs> good pool of people that we can use for wear testing. Um, and to be honest, sometimes once a product's been wear tested, we might need to make some tweaks or some changes, but that's, that's absolutely good. fine because yeah. we know that it needs to be fit for purpose and ready to go out to market in its perfect state. What's for you, what's your most exciting sort of products that are coming out on the market at the moment? Or I would say our most exciting product that we've recently launched is the Dickies Pro range, yeah. which is here. That's great. Uh, we identified a gap for a really premium, ergonomic, um, all singing, all dancing mm. product in the marketplace. And in, we are a European business. Yeah. Um, and this was definitely <coughs> something that the German market was crying out for. Yeah, because it is quite European, isn't it, with the, the different sort of colour schemes? This is quite a lot of. Yeah, you say that. Are... Although two tone is really popular uh, throughout the whole of Europe, so in the UK and France as well. Right. And in particular, we've had huge success on our two tone product, um, the Everyday range. Going going across to the the, the Dickies Pro range, that the fabric on that's like ripstop type fabric. Yeah. So on the trouser. Um, um, it is a 65-35 ripstop yeah. fabric which far exceeds any industry expectations in terms of testing. Right. Which was really important to us because yeah. this needs to screen quality. Yeah. Um, then we have a European <laughs> cloth with stretch in the back waistband. Yeah. Um, which really allows freedom of movement. And yeah. we know now that mobility is a really key factor mm. in anything that we develop. This week I'm super excited to show you this brand new pair of shorts that just come out from Dickies. This is the Dickies Pro Shorts. Wow, like the, the colour. Colours. I know, the colours are great. <laughs> Where you're happy, I understand. Where you're happy, <laughs> yeah, always. Uh, so, the, I mean, Dickies have got a fantastic range of colours for this Dickies Pro um, range. So you've got like a green, you've got the blue, you've got yellow, lots of different colours. Mm -hmm. um, and this I, comes in a trouser as well? It comes in a trouser as well. You can have that with the holster oh. pockets um, with the elephant ears oh. or without if okay. you want. And let me tell you about this trouser and uh, this short and why it's so uh -huh. good. So basically, it's a ripstop fabric. Mm -hmm. It's nice and lightweight. It's mm -hmm. going to be great for the summer. Mm -hmm. um, on the back here, you've got some Kajura, which is really, really strong. It's about 50 times stronger than normal cotton. Is that what Kajura, Kajura means? It's a, a brand of material? It's a brand of material. Okay. It's been developed. It's super strong. It's, it's what a lot of the trousers are now being made with. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely want to go down that road. It's very, very lightweight mm -hmm. and flexible. Okay, this band at the back? There, the band on the back there is a new product in from Dickies there. This is part of their, their innovation with this trouser. It's a super flexible band. It's going to just work a lot more with your body when you're doing a lot of okay, bending. So no builder's bum. No builder's bum with that one. Okay. Okay, this is great here. This pocket on this side, if you open it up, you've got a Velcro pocket, hidden smartphone pocket on the front there, Quadra pocket, open it up, it's got a zip on there, which is great. You can put your wallet. Okay. Top five features. Go. Top five features. Ripstop fabric, it's not going to rip. Mm -hmm. Flexibility in the back there. Hidden pocket there. I think the colourway is really, really good. And also it's got the added feature of these extra bum pockets with the reflective bit there. So you're going to be... Your bum's going to be lit up at night. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's competition time. But we've got loads of Dickies t-shirts to give away with the brand and on the front. Yes. How do we do it, Wayne? How do these guys win it? Well, how you win it is you need to subscribe, like, share, and also leave us a comment below and we will pick the winners and they will be announced at the end of next week's show. That's simple. I'm showcasing the cross-cutting Maffel KSS40. I love this. What is a cross cutting system? <laughs> cross cutting system is okay. it's one of these all in one um, systems. Okay. So here it is. Wow. That's quite compact. It's quite compact, it's small. Yeah. What it is, it's it this is a complement to it does everything. So okay. it does your chop saw, it does your rail saw, it's a plunge saw, all in one. Yeah. I when I first saw this from the guys my fellow, I was like, mm, I'm never gonna use it. But I've yeah. been playing with it now. And literally, it just means if I can take one sustainer box out with me, yeah. I'm not going to take all, all my other kit. Yeah. And I'll show you why. So, like I said before, it's, it's a, a rail system. It's a sprung-loaded rail system. Yeah. You could do mitres on it. One part is set. I could set this to 45. Okay. Lean it against something there. Turn it in. It gives me a perfect 45. And that's going to run straight through that board now. Straight in there. Yeah, okay. I can take this off, that system. Now I can use it as a plunge saw. Okay, brilliant. So it can cut through skirting. Just drop straight down. Lay it on its side, it can go all the way around your room, cut off the um, bottom edge of your skirting if you were laying laminate flooring. That's very neat, so very neat. Slides. So you don't need to take the skirting board off, don't you can just trim it straight out. Yeah, it just out. takes 13 mil off Brilliant. it. You can do all the angles, so you've, you can do um, yeah. the joints, angles, both ways. This is the exciting thing. I've never seen one of these before, and it all comes inside the system. 
Whoa, what's this? This is to replace your track. So normally you would have a guided track rail. Yeah. This is 1.4 meter. It's got the the rubber grips on the back and okay. the splinter guard. This would go on big sheet material. Yeah. This sits on these rungs here and it just sli slides, slides along. All the way slides along. So if you've got a big sheet of material, you can just you can just, you can just rip it off. Rip it down. But the beauty of all of this is again it all just fits inside the one to say in a racking system so mm. if you're on a job and it's cordless if you're on a job where you just you know didn't yeah. know what tool to take yeah this could cover a multitude of those and it's got the um 18 mfl power tank batteries okay uh, which lasts forever okay brilliant. give me your top five features Ooh, this. top five is definitely um the flexi track flexi track um you've got the plunge yeah um you've got extracting system that's the nice. new mfl batteries yeah. um, which are Metalbo batteries, oh, which are great. Spring-loaded um, um, track system, which means you can do all the angles. It really? does everything. It's really good, and I love the way it goes in the box as well. All goes in the box. Yeah, I, I, this is brilliant. Well, that was a great episode. That was brilliant. We saw some amazing products this week. It was we really good. Really did. Now, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and share to our YouTube channel. Yeah, and don't forget to tune in again next week, where you can see who won the loop. Ooh. See you soon. Is it really? Very, very. Christmas Day! Oh my god. Can I hand that? Get one of the girls to give you a hand, shall we? It's the. That's a nightmare, that is. That's quite awkward. Don't be so vigorous, man. I like that.